homes. This is a mission that became even more important as some of her own family members got older. Ann Watkins shows love with watercolors. She regularly donates her artwork to animal organizations and is commissioned to paint during weddings. <coughs> On this day, she's painting a portrait for her friend's five-month-old daughter, Devon. It's a way to um, express myself, you know, and that, I think that's so good for people. Watkins started painting as a kid when she was only a few years older than Devon is now. Eventually, she became a professional artist. It was nearly a decade ago that a student in one of her classes asked if she'd considered donating her work. Once she met me, she immediately was like, Well, Annie, would you like to donate a piece of art to the holiday card program? And that's how she got involved with City Meals on Wheels, a nonprofit that delivers millions of meals a year to homebound New Yorkers. She's a volunteer with the organization's holiday card card program. Proceeds from that program help fund the service, which is sometimes the only human interaction participants will have for days. Watkins' first creation was this scene in Times Square. Tens of thousands of meals had been delivered to homebound elderly because of Anne's work, and, and she does beautiful work, and for us, it's a gift. Watkins is now in her ninth year working with City Meals. She's one of a few volunteer artists working with the nonprofit. It's amazing if you go on a City Meals run to deliver food, how many people are behind the doors of this city who are just by themselves. The work hit closer to home for Watkins over the years. Her cousin, Wati, a fierce community advocate in Hell's Kitchen, used City Meals to stay in his home as he got older. He had given so much of himself to that neighborhood. I mean, of course I was happy about it. For this year's card, Watkins painted the skating rink at Bryant Park, a symbol of hope in New York during the holiday season. It's what I can do, so I'm glad. For using her watercolors to send love and nourishment to the city's loneliest seniors, Ann Watkins is our New Yorker of the Week. And if you'd like to nominate somebody to be our next...